Hello, welcome to another video by Mox Marine. I'm doing a leak down test on a 4.3 liter V6. This is my leak down tester. You set it at 100 PSI, regulated, and then uh, you want to see above 80 PSI, or 80, actually 85 PSI. This is at 80, so it's marginally okay. Um, so when I put my ear up to the engine, I can hear air leaking out of this exhaust port barely, knowing I had the carburetor. So it's got a slight exhaust leak on this engine. On, this is cylinder number four. So uh, it's 80 PSI and uh, got a slight exhaust leak on number four. Or excuse me, on the exhaust, on the exhaust valve. Okay, I just completed cylinder number four on this leak down test. And you see I've got the uh, top TDC mark right in line with the mark. So the firing order on a 4.3 is uh, 1654, so four is opposite one. The next order is next firing order is uh, three, one, one, six, five, four, three. So I got to move 120 degrees, 120 degrees from here, and then do cylinder number three, which is on the uh, port side of the engine, the middle cylinder on the port side. So I'm going to move this 120 degrees and then do, do the uh, number three cylinder. All right, this is cylinder number three, and I've got uh, about 50 psi on this. So that's failing the leak down test. Now here's significant air. Here's significant air leaking out of the exhaust port here on number three. So this one had 150 psi compression, but it's a uh, failless leak down test. All right, continue with the leak down test. I'm still on cylinder number two now. I rotate the engine 120 degrees, and I now have uh, less than 40 psi on cylinder number two at 100 psi coming in. So this is definitely a defective cylinder, and you can really hear the air coming out of the exhaust port here. So this is definitely a bad cylinder. All right, this is the results of cylinder number one. I've got 100 PSI coming in, and I've got about 75 PSI on the cylinder, so it's marginal. It's, uh, number four is the best so far. Two and three failed, and then number one is holding 75, so it's barely there. Number one and number three both had good compression, though, so um, just slight leaks on the exhaust valves, all it is. So in case you don't know how a leak down test works, this is a homemade leak down tester, but it's got a, uh, you have, basically 100 PSI in coming into this port here. And this gauge measured that. And in between this gauge and that gauge, you have an orifice in here that's 0.04 inches in diameter. And that's a Federal Aviation Administration uh, size for testing aircraft engines. But anyway, so I, this is my homemade leak down tester. And I have the orifice in here. And then on the downstream side, you have another gauge. And the, this gauge is what is measuring what the engine is holding back. So. If the engine doesn't hold back much pressure, it has internal leakage, so this gauge will drop down. So this, the orifice is basically a measurement of how much leakage the engine has, and that 0 .04 is considered the standard. So if the engine is leaking more than about, if it won't hold more than about 85 PSI, it means you got too much leakage and the, this downstream gauge won't hold it. So that's what I'm doing now. And so when you, the, the beauty of a uh, leak down test is, is relatively quiet compared to a compression test, so you can hear Use your ears to hear if there's air coming out of here, out of here, or out of the carburetor. So if it's coming out of here, you got a leaking exhaust valve. If it's coming out of here, you got leaking rings. If it's coming out of the top, you have a leaking intake valve. And so far, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard any intake leaks. All I've heard is exhaust leaks and, and a little bit coming out of here. I just heard some coming out of this uh, port here. I'm gonna try that one more time. All right, I've just finished testing number one. I can hear some air coming out of here, but I hear quite a bit of air coming out of here. I can put my ear to that hole and I can actually feel the air blowing across my ear lobe. So number one has got pretty bad leaking rings. It was holding about 75 PSI, which is marginal, but it was definitely leaking a lot past the rings coming out here. So I would say number one needs to, uh, is a failure. Moving on to uh, six and five now. All right, I've rotated the engine another 120 degrees and I just did it by eye. And uh, I'm now doing number six. And you can see number six has very good results. So numbers, this uh, holding more than 100 psi there, but this cylinder is at 90, a little less than 90 psi. So this one's very good. This within, this is very acceptable. Um, I can hear internal leakage, but it's, I believe it's rings, but it's very minor. So this this cylinder is a pass. All right, I'm now doing cylinder number five, and the results are very poor. I'm uh, down to less than 35 psi, but a bigger issues. I can feel air coming out of this spark plug hole. This is number three. I've got air coming out of number three spark plug hole, but I'm testing number five. So there's a blown head gasket between number five and number three. So, so I'm still testing number five, and you have to be careful. So I put my ear to the carburetor, and I can hear air coming out of the carburetor. 
but I don't believe it's coming out from number five. I believe it's coming off the intake from number three. The order, the six firing order is one, six, five, four, three. So three is two cylinders away from firing from five. So it's intake valve is still open trying to suck in air to fire. So what's really happening is I'm pushing air into number three cylinder and the, the intake valve is slightly open so it's coming out the carburetor. That's what I hear. So I believe number five, um, this, this leak, this head gasket leak is so bad that I really can't hear if it's coming out of here or, or up here. So um, there's air coming out of all this engine everywhere on number five. So number five is a definite failure. So the cylinder head's gotta come off for sure on the port side of this engine and I'll have to go back and review the results of the of the uh, starboard side but in my opinion both heads need to come off and this engine needs to be rebuilt.